Talk about this fight. How, how emotional of a fight is this for you? There's been a lot of talk about the rivalry. How emotional is this for you? You see any? I'm getting more and more confident every day, more calm. Uh, since I arrived to Vegas, uh, the preparations went pretty well and smooth without injuries. Uh, I challenged myself every day, day by day, and this camp was pretty tough and uh, heavy for me, but I know that I'm ready, you know, and yeah, I feel ready. I cannot wait until um, until Friday. It does look like you've added some muscle. Is that a focus at the end of the this? Was adding lean mass? A little bit, a little bit. Am I look good? So, <laughs> thank you so much. Yoana, on the show, um, how much of it was, was real and how much of it was you just playing mind games with her? The Ultimate Fighter, he, he all was uh, real, you know, like I was not playing. Like, But I can say, I cannot like blame the tough production, Claudia Gadea or myself. I said what I said and I did what I did. But the thing is that, uh, in, in our regular life, we have people, we, we, we accept some people and some, ta uh, some of the people we don't accept. So definitely, Claudia Gadella is the person who I not accept and that's all. I know that she wants to take uh, my belt, my life, my dreams, my goals away from me. I cannot let her do this and that's why uh, I was uh, acting like this, you know, but uh, the production couldn't fit uh, all the stories. You know, uh, I know the stories, how was everything, and uh, I can tell you honestly that uh, there is no time to show everything what happened there, you know, like, there were so many good stories, good moments. Uh, I would like to do this one more time, even they, they will show me as a bully person, because you know what, the most important thing for me was uh, being a coach, a friend, and uh, and a friend for, for all of my fighters, you know, I, I've got the messages. Uh, I'm still receiving messages from my fighters, uh, the Ultimate Fighters, and they are happy. They said that I changed some of them, uh, and I'm happy. It's it's the most important thing, you know. So sometimes you cannot help, but I was real, and I'm so sorry that you uh, you saw bully Jana, but it's me. When I must for when I must fight for myself, for my dreams, my goals, my life, I will be tough as a hell, you know. This extra muscle you put on, was that in response to fighting Claudia or is it something you've been wanting I, to do I, for a while? I had perfect, perfect, uh, perfect camp, good diet, uh, I'm working with perfecting athletes, uh, everything went well and smooth, so uh, I feel like stronger, uh, not just physically but mentally as well, I'm very confident, like I said, I'm getting more and more confident, confident uh, for this fight with Claudia. It's going to be a really tough fight, and I hope that next year you will call this fight fight of the year 2016. Well, let's talk about that fight for a second, because obviously the first one was very, very close. In your head, are you seeing another back and forth close fight, or what does this fight sort of look like to you when it comes time to get in there? Oh, our first fight was close. It was 19 months ago. Uh, I fought three times uh, from the first fight with Claudia Gadella in 2014. Uh, I I did 11 rounds. Claudia Gadea had just one fight, three rounds fight. Uh, so I've got more experience. I feel like I'm really strong uh, to beat Claudia Gadea. Of course, I have so much respect to her as a fighter. She's still number one. Uh, she was the number one for a long time. So I really respect her and her skills. Uh, but it's time to prove one more time to her, her coaches, her team, and all of the people that uh, I'm the, the only one really throwaway UFC champion. What did you think of her last performance in her last fight? Some people were a bit critical. What did you think of it? I don't know. I'm trying to not uh, be critical like, for about people, fights, and other stuff. You know, like the fight is very difficult. You know, sometimes we uh, preparing very long, very hard, uh, but. It must be this day when we fight, you know. So, but I think Claudia, she fought smart. She fought smart uh, with uh, Jessica Aguilar. So it's not about uh, like putting on muscles, uh, being the strongest one. You must be smart in the octagon, you know, and take this fight second by second. How about the altercation you guys had after the season? We've heard her talk about it. We haven't heard you talk about it. I mean, we understand she she landed a kick on you, right? I mean, has that stuck with you? Bothered you at all? <laughs> oh come on, come on! I I I, I had like almost hundred uh, Muay Thai fights, so I used to train and fight with really tough tough kickers, you know. And so she didn't kick me. Uh, she was trying to kick me, but 
it's all over. It's all about the fight, upcoming fight on Friday, and that's all uh, I'm focused on. Just on this fight. I saw her yesterday. I was giving the interview for the Brazilian uh, TV or or website, and she she walked. She passed uh, passed away. Yeah, passed away, or she passed. Her. Passed. Her. Yeah. So no emotions, you know, no emotions. In your last fight, you went 25 minutes. Going the distance, was there anything that you took away that's going to make you a, a better fighter for this performance? Yes, yes, definitely. You cannot be so dominant all the time, you know, because then you uh, pay a lot for this, you know. You must be ready for all kind of opponents. You must be ready for uh, a full distance of the fight, you know. So definitely I'm happy that I had really tough fight with Valerie Letourne. And, uh, yeah, I'm just... Uh, more reach of, of experience, you know. What about being champion uh, is most enjoyable to you now that you have this uh, position in the UFC? <laughs> For myself, I I'm still little Joanna uh, from the hood, from small town in, uh, in, in Poland, and I'm still having my, my goals, my dreams, and maybe some people think that it's all about the hype, the, about the fame, uh, but it's not. It's all about being the best. It's all about uh, challenging myself every day and I want to be the, be the best. I, I have my goals, my dreams. I, like I said, I want to be undefeated and I want to retire as uh, undefeated. Maybe I will uh, hold two belts uh, in the future. Maybe it's going to happen next year. We don't know, but I know that uh, Claudia Gadella is the person who I must keep to keep on, keep on, doing, what, keep on doing what I am doing. Like, may all my dreams uh, and goals come true. What's your pitch to the UFC to open up the 125 division so you could achieve that dream of yours? We need that division. I heard about the, this division a long time ago, but uh, the thing is that, that it's happened, finally happened. You know, it was a catchweight, but we need that. You know, Valerie Letourne, Giorgio Calderwood. Uh, we used to uh, fight in 125 division. Of, of course, for me, uh, making weight is easy, uh, but it's nice. If you want to think about our future, about being a, a mother, a partner, a, a fighter, an athlete for a long time, we must uh, be serious with our bodies, with our health, you know. So it's a good idea to open this division. So many fighters from Bantanweg uh, will drop uh, to 125. So many fighters from 115 will go up because it's good. You saw Jojo, she was prepared very well. She finished the fight very good. So I think it's a good idea. So it's something to think about and uh, I hope you want a Reebok is unveiling uh, new fight kits this weekend, right? Have you, have you seen new, yours? Have you, new, new, fight new fight kits? Have you, have you tried oh, any I, that I have, on? I haven't oh. seen, uh, seen them yet, but uh, they're doing pretty good job, you know. Uh, lots of hate was on the beginning for Reebok and the fight kits, but they didn't have time, guys. Uh, if you want to uh, put the product on the shelf in the store, you need uh, 11 months for, to do that, you know. They had just six months. So uh, we cannot like hate them. They are doing pretty good job. The staff are very good, good quality, and uh, yeah, they are getting better and better. So and the design is very good. Uh, those clothes are very functional. So I'm, I'm very happy with that. Joanna, when you were in the Ultimate Fighter house and getting to see it up close, that some of the women had to make that weight three times in six weeks. Do you think that's asking too much of the fighters in this day and age when weight cutting is such a big topic? You know, like. Uh, this is what I want to talk about. So many people like comment that I was a bad coach or my uh, assistant coaches, you know, but it's difficult. This, uh, this uh, program is all about uh, short training, weight cut and fight. They fought like every third day. Yeah? We didn't know who is going to fight. So uh, we couldn't be focused on the right preparations or, or changing something. The, those fighters were from different schools, different coaches, with different experience. But yeah, it's a it's a big problem sometimes to keep the weight. I think most of those girls uh, can do better outside the house because they're under the pressure, under the uh, cameras, uh, without family, without any any connection with family. You know, so uh, there there were there, there is some pressure in the house, but. Uh, yeah, we need extra division. The, the female MMA is growing up because of Ronda. Uh, now we've got strawy division already for uh, two years. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm 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 very happy. We need that extra 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 division in female female division.